Hi, this is Lucia with Yard of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. This week, I want to talk about the dumper dumpy value switch. What does that mean? Well, when there's a breakup, the dumper initially has a higher value because they are the ones who are getting rid of you, the dumpy, and they are getting what they want. So at that moment, the dumpy has a lower value because they are the one who is being dumped. And if you cry and beg, that puts the dumper on a pedestal and you lose even more value. However, with time, the value of the dumper and the dumpy can switch so that if you are the dumpy, you can eventually gain the upper hand if you do things correctly. That's why I say to immediately agree with the breakup and go into no contact. That way you maintain as much value as possible. But before I talk about that, I want to welcome back my beautiful No Contact Army. If you've been a good little soldier, then you've downloaded my app Silencio for both the iPhone and the Android. And the link for that is below every single video and podcast. And to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to nocontactsecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. All right, so at the beginning of a breakup, the dumper will have a lot of confidence and the dumpy will have a lot less confidence because you start to wonder if there's something wrong with you, especially if you're not used to being dumped and some people feel worthless when they're dumped and that's due to your low self-esteem. Do not do that to yourself. You are not worthless just because someone doesn't want to be in a romantic relationship with you, okay? (laughs) And the dumper's confidence comes from the fact that they're getting what they want, they're moving on, and they think that life is gonna get much better now. They think they're gonna find someone better, and they they think they're gonna have a better life without you and be happier. They have an abundance mindset at that moment. But what happens if things don't turn out as well as they thought that they would. What happens if the single life isn't as great as they had imagined? Well, their confidence will start to go down when things aren't turning out as they thought they would. Meanwhile, the dumpy is initially obviously distraught and very upset with the breakup, but as time goes by, they start to work on themselves. And especially if they do no contact, they'll start to feel much better and become more confident. So they work on themselves and become a better version of themselves of themselves and meanwhile the dumper is probably not working on themselves because they figure they don't have to since hey they weren't the ones being dumped but as the newness of single life begins to wane life becomes more uncertain as time passes and that is when the switch occurs and if you like what you hear so far be sure to like this video that way the YouTube algorithm can recommend it to other people and we can help others who are going through a breakup thank you So at the time of the breakup, the dumper felt more attractive because they were the ones who were choosing to walk away. The dumpy didn't want them to walk away. And so they feel like, wow, I'm this amazing person because this other person is so desperate to have me in their life and doesn't want to lose me. They're trying to get me to change my mind. However, as they move forward and start dating other people, it's quite possible that they themselves will get rejected and can't find anyone else who they want to date as much as they originally wanted to date you. They can't feel that connection that they had with you. And initially, the dumpy will feel unattractive. That's why a lot of people start working out and working on their physical appearance after being dumped. They think that if they looked better, they wouldn't have been dumped. Of course, that's not true. Even supermodels and Miss Universe have been dumped but it never hurts to work on yourself, both inside and out. So you're working on your outer appearance and you also wanna work on unattractive behavior, such as being clingy, needy, anxious, and thus you will become a better partner. So as time goes on and things are not working out for the dumper, they're gonna start to have second thoughts about the breakup. They're gonna wonder if they made a mistake in getting rid of you. And meanwhile, jumpers don't usually put any work into themselves because they don't think that they have to because as I said, again, they were the dumper, they weren't the dumpy. But meanwhile, the dumpy is working on themselves, they end up becoming more attractive 
to the dumper once there's been a value switch and the uh, dumper isn't as confident as they were at the beginning of the breakup. So now you have control of the situation when you hear from them. You're feeling better because time has passed, you've been working on yourself, and at this point, you may not even want them back. I see in the comments all the times that people say, you know what, I decided I don't even want my ex back. Shocking as that may seem from how you felt when you were first dumped. So if you do everything right, you will either get your ex back or you'll find someone better because now you're a better version of yourself. And there's this quote, it's not really a quote, I don't know what to call it, but it says, dumper, laugh now, cry later. Dumpy, cry now, laugh later. So basically it means when there's first a breakup, the dumper's happy, you know, they're laughing, they're not really laughing, but you know. But later, they're gonna pay for it, they're gonna cry. Meanwhile, the dumpy, they're crying now, probably literally crying, and they may not laugh later, but they will definitely not be crying later, okay? And finally, I wanna end actually with a comment from someone who did this value switch, who turned things around, who did everything that I say, and she says, uh, so her ex contacted her and said that he wanted to talk about things. And I said, well, what happened? She goes, well, it went very well. I used all of your tips. At first he apologized and said he was confused about the breakup and had been very sad thinking about me. He said he messed up and then asked if there was a possibility of us getting back together. I wanted to smile, but I kept a straight face and said, maybe, yeah, girl, <laughs> you listen to what I said. I told him that I was not gonna clean up his mess and that if he wanted me, he had to fly to my city and take me on a first date. I told him I've been moving on so I can't make him any promises of getting back together. Perfect. I also told him that in the meantime of him visiting me, I am still single. Wonderful, I love all this. I hung up after 20 minutes, perfect again. She listened, because most people, if they hear from their ex, and especially if the ex says, oh, I made a mistake, I'm gonna get back together. They're on the phone for an hour, two hours, no. 20 minutes and then get off the phone. He was on the verge of crying, good. <laughs> Bet he's not gonna try to break up with you again. That's what we want crying and crawling. We want them to cry and to crawl back. Yeah. Whether we admit it or not, that's what we want. And she finishes by saying, feels so good to see the roles reverse. Absolutely. Thank you, Lucia. This would not be happening if it had not been for your guidance. You're welcome. Another success story. We got another one back. Yeah, baby. <laughs> okay. So if you would like me to help you get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we will send you the rates. The direct click is below every single video and podcast. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, I would love it if you would rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens.